Hi fellow investors, this is Joe Grinder. I recently received some requests from new subscribers to SectorSurfer.com regarding how do you go about inserting or creating a new strategy within Sector Surfer. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. In this presentation, part one of Sector Surfer, creating LMRIG strategies. Don't worry, I'll explain what LMRIG is in a minute. Before we begin, I'd like you to briefly review this legal disclaimer and risk disclosure. You may want to uh, pause the video and review this. This is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Any past performance and our hypothetical results of any trading method are not indicative of future results. So as a member of the Sector Surfer Users Group um, and as a leader and owner of the Sector Surfer Users Group, I'd like to remind you that this is for education educational purposes only. Now, what will you learn in this video today? First, we're going to tell you how you go about selecting symbols for your strategy. Then we're going to create a strategy. In fact, we're going to create three strategies for you today. We're going to show you how you go about naming and loading the symbols into your strategies going to give you an explanation and hopefully you obtain a understanding of the sector surfer chart. We're going to review the chart for each of the three strategies. Then we're going to compare your strategies. And finally, there will be a strategy analysis. However, the strategy analysis itself will be in a separate video, part two. Selecting the symbols. About a month ago, I gave a presentation at the Lockheed Martin Retirees Investment Group here in Silicon Valley. As a Lockheed Martin retiree, I belong to that group. I joined Lockheed years after I retired from a 20-year career in the Air Force. So now we have a group of about 50 or 60 Lockheed Martin retirees and we meet on a monthly basis. So I asked two men in this group if they would go ahead and give me 12 symbols so we could load up some strategies into Sector Surfer and check it out. I received uh, 12 symbols from Don and I put them into Lockheed Martin Retirees Investment Group-01. So that will be our strategy 01. I also received 12 symbols from Don that were all inverse ETF uh, symbols. Uh, I put that into the strategy and it did not work out well because when the market was going up, there were no positive uh, symbols where you could invest your money. It could only go into cash. So an inverse symbol is that when the market goes up, then the price of the inverse symbol goes down. If the market goes down, then the price of the inverse symbol goes up. So when the market was going down in 2007, 2008, it was great. However, since then and before then, when the market was going up, there was no, no other ETF where the money could be invested other than cash. So overall performance for the 10 or 15 year period was very poor. So instead what I did, and as a freebie for each of you viewers, I went to the Hall of Fame and picked a premium strategy, in this case the Kick-Ass 2 strategy, which is has a hedge in it consisting of symbol SH, which shows you a dash or a minus sign, that is the inverse of the S&P 500. So when this strategy is not in one of the other symbols listed, 
and the market is going down in it shifts to instead of cash it will shift to the inverse of the S&P 500 so while the market's going down the inverse SH should be going up and you'll see that in the chart in a few minutes the third column on the right this column right here Bill provided me 12 symbols they're all ETFs and there are no duplicates in his symbols with those included in Don's symbols so in effect we're going to have three strategies one two and three two of them one and three were provided by members of the investment group the other one the center one came from the Hall of Fame now to load your symbols after you've selected your symbols you go to the my strategy page and you insert a name so in this case I deleted so I blocked out one through five so we don't have too much clutter on this slide we started with number six which I titled LMRIG01 and those are ETFs and as a note here to remind us this is Don's uh, ETF listing I inserted the 12 symbols as shown on the previous slide I activated it in sector surfer on the 27th of May at that time it said wait in other words stay in cash the second strategy is the kick-ass 2 strategy it has an I because there's an inverse symbol within the list of symbols and that is SH the dash or minus is the inverse symbol the rest are all positive symbols all positive ETFs this was created by the chief sector surfer Scott Judd so I noted that in in this section I also activated this on the 29th of May which is today LMRIG3 are Bill's ETFs I inserted those here in this center column there are 12 symbols I activated that on the 27th of May so we now have three different strategies two provided by gentlemen from the retiree group and one came out of the Hall of Fame Before we proceed further, you might want to go to sectorsurfer.com, sign in, and click on Strategy Charts and review this video. It's a demo video telling you additional information about Sector Surfer charts. Also, you might want to pause this video to read this paragraph. There are seven in one charts within one Sector Surfer chart might want to check that out before we proceed now here is an example of a sector surfer chart it has the names of all the funds within that strategy it has each of the symbols next to the name and also the current trend of the each symbol within the strategy so for instance this has the longest green bar it's in the strongest trend right now and I'm sure you can't read it but that's fidelity select medical delivery so that's the strongest symbol within this sample strategy here <clears throat> you can email your chart to a friend also you can change the time scale for your chart this is the 25 year max chart you can click on a 10 year or you can click on a three year to zero in more closely on just the most recent years you also have three risk measures within the sector surfer chart the first you have the sharp ratio which is located here you have the maximum drawdown during the 10-year period which is right here 
in a probability of loss, which is shown in this area of the chart. I'm not going to go into great detail right now because we'll do that in video number two. And finally, wherever you see yellow, that is your sector surfer strategy. Where you see white, which is mixed in here, that is the S&P 500. All of these spaghetti lines, some people call it, those are the different price action for your various symbols. So each of these symbols are color coded with the applicable price line here. Down here, the annualized return for a 20 year, 23 year period is shown for the strategy in yellow sector, excuse me, S&P 500 in white. You're looking for strategies where the yellow bar is significantly taller than the white bar. So that tells us that the sector surfer strategy for this 20 year, 23 year period significantly outperformed the S&P 500. The same thing here in the 10 year period, the yellow bar, the strategy was significantly better than the S and being in the S&P 500. And the same thing for the three year. So in all three of these columns, you can see that the sector surfer strategy that this is, was significantly better than having your money in the S&P 500. We are now looking at the chart for Don's strategy number one, which are Don's ETFs. Once again, you see the symbols, the 12 symbols from Don's strategy shows you a various type of information here, risk, drawdown, your average annual returns, your annualized returns, each of your individual symbols, the price action is shown. As you can see, the yellow line is the sector surfer strategy. So you can see the sector surfer strategy greatly exceeded any of the other individual funds in your strategy. That's a significant benefit of having the ability for a sector surfer to tell you when to move from one symbol to the next to keep you in the leading symbol. Where you see a flat period right here, another flat period, another flat period here, that is when Sector Surfer went to cash. In other words, StormGuard, which we'll talk about later, told you the market's going down, started to go down here, time to go to cash. So you missed all this terrible period in 2001 and 2002. Also here in 2008, you missed the big crash we had in 2008 because you were sitting in cash if you followed the directions given to you by Sector Surfer. Here's the LMRIG02, which is the kick-ass two hedge strategy as found in the Hall of Fame. This is, was created by the Chief Sector Surfer. As you can see, look at his line. It is tremendous return. <clears throat> we'll go into this more, uh, more deeply um, later, but look at these returns. An annualized return of 32.9%. That's fantastic. Look at this. In the last 10 years, it's almost a 40% return per year. I sure love that. I hope you do too. And let's take a look at strategy number three, which is Bill's strategy, strategy his symbols. Once again, the Bill symbols are here. The trend, the best right now is Japan Total Dividend ETF. The various funds are shown here and also has increasing annualized returns over the last, looks like 12 plus years. 
So we'll take a deeper look at this in video number two. I then extracted all of the information from the three charts and put them into this comparison matrix. These is the information extracted from Don's 01 strategy is shown here. The 02 kick ass strategy from the Hall of Fame I inserted here. Oops. And number three, Bill's information from his strategy is inserted here. Now what we're going to do in video number two, we're going to analyze each of these items row by row and discuss them so you have a real under, good understanding of what exactly is available in a sector surfer chart. Now this video will be continued in my next video called Sector Surfer Creating LMRIG Strategies Part 2. So you want to definitely check that out to see where do we go from here. And this is what you look for at Investors Help, our channel Joe Grinder. This will be the thumbnail for the, uh, for the next visit uh, video. So see you soon on the next video. Bye for now.